welcome. My name is Captain Carrie Irvin, Deputy Director in FDA's Office of Coordinated Outbreak Response and Evaluation Network, known as CORE, within the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition. I am also lead for CORE Element 1 of FDA's New Era of Smarter Food Safety Initiative, Tech Enable Traceability, which is today's focus. We are excited to continue to highlight work being done on the new era of Smarter Food Safety, an initiative that began in 2019. As part of the new era of Smarter Food Safety, we have been focusing on tech-enabled traceability. In 2021, we conducted a global challenge to identify low or no-cost tech-enabled traceability options and announced 12 winners in September of that year. And now we are here for the first episode of the FDA Low or No Cost Tech Enabled Traceability video series. While FDA is not endorsing any one technology or solution, we hope to serve as a catalyst for change and modernization by raising awareness of the wide range of traceability solutions that could be available for companies of all sizes. In today's episode, I will be joined by four traceability solution providers that are leveraging various approaches to innovate low or no cost technologies within the food supply chain. Morpheus Network, Bamboo Rose, Nira, and iFoodDS. Varcode, a fifth company, will also be providing a showcase of their solution. We will briefly showcase each solution, then we will have a roundtable discussion to better understand the opportunities and challenges surrounding these solutions. We'll also focus on food traceability and its importance to public health. As I mentioned, this video series builds upon the 2021 FDA Low or No Cost Tech Enable Traceability Challenge. For that challenge, aimed at identifying hardware, software, data analytics platforms, and innovative business models, we received 90 submissions from around the world. We are excited to showcase how solution providers can help create a more digital, traceable, and safe food safety system that will benefit both consumers and food producers. We note that the views and opinions presented here represent those of the speakers and should not be considered or represent advice or guidance on behalf of FDA. Now let's explore how these five teams are innovating technology within the food supply chain. Hi there, my name is Dan Weinberger. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Morpheus Network. Uh, here with a quick presentation for you guys uh, to, to show you some brand new emerging technologies and how we have cost-effective, easy-to-use solutions uh, specifically for compliance and physical asset traceability. Uh, our positioning within uh, supply chain is middleware, supply chain technologies. We bring it all in through our platform. Uh, very simply, we have these amazing solutions based on all the data that we can pull in. Uh, we make the data portable, uh, you know, connecting all these different data silos. We won some amazing awards, including the ASEA PTAC Award for Supply Chain Excellence in 2021, which we won along with FCL, uh, the third largest food supplier in Canada. Uh, our, once again, our solution just brings in all the data from all the different sources, all different handling points, all the compliance documentation, uh, makes it very, very easy to trace all your physical assets, as well as keep track of all your stakeholders down the supply chain. Let me show you a quick demo of how easy the solution is to use. We right into the platform here. Uh, we're setting up the workflow. Uh, we can see this information here, a shipment coming from Ecuador going to Mexico. We can pull this data directly in from an ERP, such as SAP. We have our commodity information as well. We're happy with everything we see on the workflow setup. We're gonna save it and get into our workflow builder. Now that we're in our workflow builder here, we see all our different modules, our active modules and available modules. Uh, we can drag and drop different modules into the workflow as required, uh, whether it's insurance, whether it's IoT devices. We set up here ready to have a QR code uh, scanning. Simply set up the QR code. Anytime that QR scan down the supply chain, we get that physical asset handling point. Uh, we also have our compliance documentation. All the data that we brought in from the initial uh, SAP ERP from that PO is ported right into this document generation system as well, uh, automating the entire process of customs compliance. Uh, now that we have uh, all our different modules lined up as we want them, we can take a look at a completed workflow. 
Here we take a look at completed shipment uh, that was going from Peru into Mexico here. Uh, we can see the QR code scans as well. They're being plotted on the map. Uh, we have some document generation and documents uploaded as well. Uh, PODs, uh, compliance documentation. Uh, we even have the bill of lading performer invoice, which we saw was set up directly through that universal data, porting the data from the ERP, creating custom documentation, and connecting it to IoT handling points, QR code handling points, all through our middleware. Super easy, super simple to implement, uh, as well as very cost effective. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.